<sighs> God, I love my job. I could do without the early mornings, though. Too long. That fool got me following routine. <laughs> On the way to top game, I feel like going home now. Now, now. Fails and turns to luck, words aren't making it, it seems. Put him up on a pedestal and treat him like he's royalty. I hate them pigs on an ego trip. Yeah. I call them spoiled bacon. Yeah, you know that's right. You know what I really hate about these cops these days? Is they act like you owe them some kind of respect just because they hide behind a badge and a baton. But he don't know me. And he's smelling himself. So I take my good ass old time. And then I start to think. He might want me to pop the trunk. But you know me, I don't show my hand for nothing. No, that's right. Smooth like butter all night, my brother. Yeah, and he's leaning up against my car like he's some kind of rock star or something. <laughs> and he says to me, he says, give me one good reason not to write you this speeding ticket. I'll tear it up right now. Who are you transporting? Oh, man, some damn fool fats gave me papers on him. And I start to realize this guy I got in the trunk, he might wake up or start kicking or something. Now, I know I knocked him in the next week, but these Irish men, these Irish got a lot of fight in them. I know that's right. So one time, me and Jimmy Tools were getting a drop on this local man, and it was extended his reach in the fastest territory. Mm -hmm. Man, we must have smacked that Mick in the head 12 <laughs> times with the two by four before he dropped, man. Uh, and he wouldn't stay down. Uh, yeah, I hear you, man. One thing you cannot take away from the Irish is balls. Big balls. So he says to me, give me one good reason not to write you this speeding ticket. So I look at him and I say, well, I was married once. It didn't quite work out. Matter of fact, Broad left me for a cop look just like you. So when I saw you in the rear view mirror, I stepped on the gas. I was afraid you were gonna to try to bring that bitch back to me. <laughs> uh, what did he say? <laughs> nothing, man. Nothing. Yeah, he just tore it up and walked away. <laughs> my friend is the result of all the cholesterol trying to purge itself from your body. I mean, what was that, the sound of your heart locking up? You need to learn how to live. 
Oh, I do know how to live a long and healthy life. Unlike you, I mean, this crap is cardiac arrest just waiting to happen. I'd rather have a cardiac arrest than a real arrest any day. <laughs> you dig? Yeah, I dig like I'm going to be digging your grave in a couple of years. Listen, my heart can lock up and put a smile on my face. But you, you're still going to be sitting there with that constipated look on your mug. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the difference is? I might have this constipated look on my face, but I'm going to have this constipated look well into my golden years. We live in the golden years now, baby. <laughs> Your boss is here. Got it. What is that all about? Boss wants us in pronto. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You got the drop this time, brother. It's my time? Damn, I don't forget nothing. It is a white lightning and chocolate thunder. What's up, Tricky Dick? Ah, oh, just the sunshine and my libido now. I've been working out. Oh, uh, so you can stick it to the old lady again, huh? Oh man, I'm the total package again. In fact, I feel like doing a little shopping. Yeah, well, if you need any lessons, you tell your wife to call me. A dog, why would I need lessons from you? <laughs> or else your name wouldn't be Tricky Dick. <laughs> you got that right. So how you been there, Captain Personality? Oh, like you give a damn all of a sudden, Dick? <laughs> of course I give a damn. That's tricky dick to you. But hey, listen, fellas. Um, Dom's been waiting for you. He's got a good one for you. Yeah, does it involve booze, cheap tricks, and a happy ending? <laughs> you know it, but not for you two, Chris. But hey, like I said, man, let's not keep him uh, waiting. All right? Slackers! Yelling. Over here. I'm not getting any younger. Well, patient for that matter. God damn it, you two! What did I tell you about this pleasantly on time crap? I don't know how many times I've told you guys. I don't trust anybody that, that's that anally punctual. Just like I don't like a guy that doesn't curse. I just, I can't trust a son of a bitch that doesn't curse. Well, it's like I said, Dom. I mean, it's the difference between shooting and getting shot. Well, it has worked for you so far, so, you know, keep doing that, I suppose. But, I'm glad you characters are here. I have a little job for you. So what's the deal with this one? Well, you know I don't really like the personal jobs. I really goes against my every principle. But, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just have to do it to allow business to continue to run as usual. All right, let's cut the crap, Dom. Let's get to the point. You said this was personal. What is it, friends, family? No, no, it's nothing like that. You see, there's a senator. His name's John Thomas. John Thomas. I know that dude. He's the guy from uh, on TV that's talking about cleaning up the streets. What the hell are you doing here? Business. This is a private meeting. That's the guy. He's the guy that keeps us clean and allows us to run everything nice and smooth. Now we have to do him just a little bit of a favor. <sighs> Richard! God damn it! I told you this was a private meeting. I, I, I'm sorry, boss. Damn hard to get good help. You know, if we didn't grow up together, I would pop you myself. I have a job for you. I want you to back these two up. Okay. Correct. You're going to back them up. How much is the gig? 20. 10 apiece? Yeah, I mean, yeah, can I, I do that? Do you mind if I finish? It's actually 20 apiece. But this is a very, very serious job. I can't have any of your shenanigans on this. We have to get this done properly. 20, 20 a piece. And for this dope, I get a nickel. Are, are, are you unhappy with your job? Guys, I don't get Ma this. McDonald's man. is hiring. We can do that instead. You're going to take the jobs that I give you, and you're going to like it. Now listen, it is a two-man job. It has to be done properly. The senator's daughter's been kidnapped by some people that are getting a little uncomfortable about all the campaigning he's been doing to clean up the city. It's making a lot of people nervous. We have to get her back. 
we might be able to use the help of the good rev here to back you guys up. So I want you to stay in the area, have your phone on you, just in case we need you. You understand? Look, boss, we good. No, we the best. What? But we don't have S's on our chest. Well, you're going to today. So get your capes on, Clark and Bruce, because this little political hussy is coming out of there one way or another. Good work. So which one are you? What are you talking about? Clark and Bruce. What? I kind of consider myself more like that. Really? You're more like Robin. I said shut up. But why are you still here? Are you waiting for an invitation? Get to work. So, I mean, that's just the kind of way it went, man. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So what's our approach? How do you want to attack this? Remember the Joey Capalone job? You know, yeah. me with the scope and you up close and personal with the magic fingers? I can go for up close and personal. Mm -hmm. but, but you know who we got to hit up first for the hardware. Yep. Joe the Greek Jack. How the hell did he get that name anyway? He's not even Greek. Well, you know how Joe likes his girls, right? Yeah, so? Then you know what they say about the Greek and how they like their girls, right? <laughs> Back Backdoor door deliveries. deliveries. It still doesn't explain how the hell he got the name. Come on, brother. Put two and two together. And enough said. All right. Let's go get some hardware. All right. Hey, honey. How are you? How was your day, huh? Mine wasn't too good, to be honest with you. I mean... You know, this guy John, he's just driving me nuts. He's humiliating me over and over again. And I'm a fragile guy, you know, I admit that. I'm actually strong enough On your knees. to... On your knees. I will blow your face <sighs> over that wall. And you turn backsplash and move me. After my meet, we'll talk about it, all right? All right. ID? You better keep your filthy hands off my designer suit. You don't show ID, you don't come in. Watch out, my man. Little man walks with a pretty good stick. I don't see no stick. You're looking at him. <clears throat> I wouldn't do that if I was you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boy, I see some things will never change. Yep. Hey, Kev, you might want to go check your drawers. <laughs> see what's been up? Where y'all been at? Show the damn creep. How you been, brother? Still making a backdoor delivery? Ain't nothing changed but my address. Clyde, you bastard, how you doing? I'm still standing, Joe. All right, all right. So, uh, I hear from Don. No, we need some heavy hitters. Definitely some heavy hitters. Long range stuff. I got that and then some. Let's take a walk around back. Got some new inventory in. Relax, Just 
man. Vince, is it? Yes, I'm Vince. Look, I know why you are here. I'm sorry, okay? Tell Fritz I'll have the money. I, I just need a little more time, okay? I, look, I, I have a family. I, I have kids, you know. I, you don't have to do that, please. There'll be plenty of time for that. <laughs> if you're not a religious man, this would be a good time to start. And well, let's face it, with what you've been doing with our money, you're not a chess man. And for that, I'm going to be gentle. No. no. You know what I see when I see you, Vincent? I see a man who lies. No. I don't lie. As immense consequences for their family. But you didn't think of that, did you? Of course not. You see, you are a taker. Unfortunately, I'm a taker too. I'm not just going to take your life. I'm going to take your soul. Uh, no. Your pride. No. no. And your dignity. <laughs> yes. We want to deliver it to God himself. I love family. I love family. You see, unlike you, I'm a pious man. And I believe we're all accountable for our actions. Unlike you, Vincent, I am an ordained man. I'm going to deliver you to our great creator and pass judgment on your filthy no. deeds. But you know you deserve that, don't you? Sure you do. No. Man, you must have done some lowly things in your time. But you know, it's not my job to judge. You see, the Lord is going to handle that. Yes, the Lord. Once I deliver you to his doorstep. Vincent. Ready to repent? Oh, oh, oh. So I'll never, never go around her house no more. <laughs> All right, look, fellas. Dom said y'all gonna have some heavy lifting, so I got just the thing for you. Ain't she you? I'm the daddy. Ooh, damn, Joe, she is gorgeous. Yeah, now with the right shooter, that little lady can take the junk off a of fly at 300 yards away in a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you always had a way with words. And the women, too, now. Yeah, I ain't forget you. Hold on. This Christmas came early this year. Yeah, huh? look at that beauty right there. Mm hmm. Yeah, got well, y'all boys set up. So how much are these little ladies gonna set us back? Ah, don't worry about that, that's on Dom's tab. He said y'all needed something special to hook you up. So there you go. Man, I love my job. <laughs> and I'm ready. All right, I'll see y'all fellas later. All right, Joe. I'm gonna use the back. So, how you want to do this? Grand entry? Nah. Figured you walk straight up there like 5-0. Uh, the old uh, magic gun routine? You know it. Look, 
I'm gonna get you inside. So once you're in there, you're on your own. Don't go hellfire or brimstone on me, man, all right? Oh, Fat man. said he wants some of these dudes alive. They're good earners. Look, if they cooperate, there won't be any reason for hellfire and brimstone. <laughs> all right, well look, I'll be your guardian angel looking over your shoulder. So be careful. All right. Park when we're done. Oh, he wants to play ball, does he? Nope. I just want to take your money. <laughs> Make it happen. Do it. Yo, how are you, man? Yeah, yeah. Who? Eagles. Don't talk to me about no Eagles, man. this you lost or something i think you're in the wrong section yeah well you might be right about that i believe you got something that belongs to me something that belongs to you it's time for the back show yeah package pretty little thing about five feet tall long brown hair 100 pounds soaking wet. Suburban edition. Hey, look, white boy. I'm gonna need you to break out before I break my foot off in your ass. I think that would be a very bad decision. Bless him. The man who enters the valley of the shadow of death. Blessed be he who relinquishes and cleanses his soul before the feet of God. For he is the righteous man who has sinned and repents before his hour of reckoning. Are you ready to repent, Vincent? No! 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 